Act 2 the second act is already a fledged action. It symbolizes a fall down and a deep rethinking of his ideals. The hero realizes that he was a slave and blindly obeyed the will of others. The will of one whose time has not yet come. The act begins with a modulated chorus. In general, the structure remained the same. But immediately after the refrain follows a fast marching rhythm, the main role is played by drums. Namely Solo. Let's take a look at the drawing. He perfectly illustrates the rule. The more repetitions, the faster the beat seems. Let me remind you that the pace has not changed, but there has been more movement. The barrel is direct and constant, but the accents inside the picture are in every fourth share. Only the symbols mark the beginning of a measure which is successfully emphasized by a variable stroke on the lead guitar and chord variety in the bass. Bass and guitars completely repeat the sharp bakery cadence, which only in some places coincides with the drums. Why is this done? For better readability. If the guitars will duplicate the drum part, especially in places where the solo album plays, after changing the tempo it will not be so easy to catch a new rhythm, and the new rhythm is set by guitars, as the drums play an almost metronome pattern. As for the solo guitar, she plays a classic stretched chord with a preliminary accent before the start of the square. The melody is already approaching the one that will be played in solo. Solo long. At first glance, the monotonous part, singing guitar parts greatly slow down the composition and give a discharge. An upward progression is created in just a few intervals, the main of which is a semitone. The second most important is the octave. Despite the gap in the sound, the difference in the octave does not create a progression, since the monochromatic picture does not change. Half tones show movement much better even within one octave. Stroke CB introduces an exotic color into the standard neutral phrase. Rhythm guitars continue to play the same pattern, but with the interval ending of each square. Both minor and major third work well with pull-offs on guitars, if you play them for sure. Despite the direct and simple pattern of the drums, at the beginning of the circle the punches of the barrel are accentuated so as not to dampen the dynamics which are already weak here. Solo and bass dominate. After a long loss with minor variations, there is almost complete silence in all instruments. Drums beat the rhythm on the volumes, portending something grandiose and massive. And they are not mistaken. This is a sequel to the solo, but with heavier parts and faster drums. Symbolically, the hero's soul gradually leaves the trance, feeling the approach to the kingdom of the dead. The first thing she encounters on her way is a flurry of trill and grace notes that beat the listener's ears with a whip, forcing him to tune into the darkest. Bass and guitars create out of sync to draw all the attention to the action. Darkness is coming. Death suddenly there is silence. Only in the distance is a melody of several notes heard, with a half-tone difference between key shares. Far from friendly and not comfortable interval, other instruments sharply enter the melody. Pure metal core part, dissonant chords alternate with aggressive jammed strings. If it were not for the lead that beats the sweep sequences, one would think that the composition is far from an oriental shade. Drums play standard four-fourths, accentuating bright chords with a barrel. After playing a few squares, the rhythm slows in half. Bass stagnates playing eighth notes. In the context of the party, it supports the bottom of the guitars and allows them to jump upwards with a rather large range, since dissonant caustic chords are far from below. Final episode it would seem, 
much more gloomy, but number. We are greeted by a modulated chorus with heavy depressive chords that kill last hope. Immediately after completion, the gates of hell open. A dead beat on toms and guitars playing in unison create the effect of a death march, as if the soul was being led to the tribunal. Backache and desynchronization in some parts symbolize the last hope, convulsions and attempts to break free, and powerful blows to a strong share completely break the way back. Time to die. After the volumes, the plates immediately fit into the rhythm, which fit into the picture. To speed up the part, a sweep solo enters. Time to consider the polyphonic component, which will turn into a hell of a cry at the moment of climax. The first voice is a sequence of a pair of notes, with note G sharp. Only now it is played twice as fast to accent not every note, but only the fourth parts. The second is a pure Locrian melody which contains notes from a different key. It creates the difference between light and dark, sacred and gloomy. A lot of displacements, grace notes, alterations. The demon who played it hit the notes well, but smeared its claws past the strings. Both voices create intricate intervals between themselves that perfectly fit the existing bass part. This is music, that which is not tangible by any of the senses but can cause unprecedented emotions, without understanding what is happening. It became dark. The metal damping part smoothly leads the soul for loading to the let appear. Nothing interesting, nothing special, no hope, only acceptance and humility. Ahead is only a river trip to the kingdom of eternal darkness. The only thing that will distract the hero is memories of the past, feelings, hopes doubts. But all this does not matter anymore, since it's too late to change anything. In the meantime, the last chords sound, the soul more and more plunges into the viscous dark silt of the Letta River. The melody begins with a traditional diatonal chord, the notes were in the song earlier. But in the first half there is a variable trend. First, the melody accelerates, then there is a sharp decline at the peak itself, before the next jerk. This can be observed on a scale of 16 measures, 8, and even 2. Before death, you can't breathe, but the main character no longer controls himself. His instincts took control. Each upward drawing takes it to a place where everything else could be changed, but the final intervals are darker each time. It reminds you of a situation when you get lost and always return to the same dead end. The second part is a bit more interesting in terms of dynamics, although there is still a confrontation there. The exponential sinusoidal diagonal progression is indicated by a dotted line in the figure. To imagine it, you need to divide the party both horizontally and vertically. The lower the beat, the more changes in it, in our case, these are extra extra tone sounds. And such sounds come to the melody after a rollback, to simpler drawings. The entire right half are simple figures without much distortion. The left is the beginning of a new square, with a changed harmony. Such a compromise allows you to modify the melody in any way so that it does not undergo cardinal changes in meaning and idea. The emphasis of tonal notes and poorly played borrowed sounds also help to bring new sounds. In order not to lose the thread, they first simply create an unpleasant, barely audible interval, and after a few repetitions they are already playing along with the others. Hearing no longer considers them to be strangers. Auditory xenophobia is the reason why modulation in the mid-tone sounds unusual and out of place. Most often, in such a tonality there will be no notes from the original set of sounds, which means that the hearing will reject them. If, against the background of the old melody, asking him to consider new facets, 
he will be less picky. We can say that in this way some sounds recommend others to the listener. The melody, which already has authority, introduces the observer to the other side of the music, and it works. Despite the fact that the instrument is single and easy to modulate, we still have the tail from the pedal. The entire game is played through the pedal. Therefore, each extra tone sound will give a small portion of dirt to the melody. In any other place, this problem would be solved by dumping the pedal before a new beat, but since we are dying, it should be vile, dark, scary, sad. The final chord fully shows the beauty of distortion, if used wisely. Can you imagine such a sound anywhere else? I cannot imagine. And here he clearly symbolizes, it's all over. Idea, history, development, concept, characters, promise, emotions, an integral part of any composition. Take music seriously, it means a lot more in our lives than it seems. The sounds around us, and if we are born in silence, then whether we want to or not, we will die with music.